So Paula's Choice 2% Liquid BHA Exfoliant is definitely a good product. It has 2% salicylic acid, which is going to promote exfoliation, and it's oil-soluble, so it actually can really get into pores and decongest from within. It's on the FDA monograph for acne. But that product is $34, and I want to compare it to a very similar product that's only $11. It's Peach Slice's Acne Exfoliating Toner. So like I said, this product has 2% salicylic acid. They also have green tea extract in there for antioxidant benefits. And on the website, it lists that the pH is between 3.2 and 3.8. So then the Peach Slices Toner also has 2% salicylic acid. They're also using a Cerola fruit extract, which is very high in vitamin C. This ingredient can provide additional antioxidant benefits, but also if you're using this for acne um, and you have existing acne that's like, you know, kind of scarring up, the Acerola could potentially help brighten that up a little bit. They're also using a low level of AHAs. I'm assuming that in this product, it's just kind of as a pH adjuster. Um, but then they're also using like cucumber water, glycerin, and centella asiatica for additional hydration, anti-inflammatory benefits. So these products should do relatively similar things, um, but let's talk about pH really quick because the Paula's Choice is listed between the pHs of 3.2 to 3.8 on their website. And this one doesn't list the pH, but lucky for you guys, I have this product and I have a pH meter. So here's the product and I tested the pH and here is my pH meter. Here's what we got. It came out at, I don't know if you can tell, 4.4. I'm going to try not to get too technical here, but typically with acids, the lower the pH is, the more effective the product is going to be. We're going to look at glycolic acid as an example, and sorry if you hate chemistry, I'm going to make it quick. So basically, in any solution, uh, glycolic acid is going to exist in both the uncharged form to the left and the charged form to the right where it's lost a hydrogen ion. In a low pH solution, there's basically more free hydrogen ions, so more of the glycolic acid is going to exist in that acidic form and not in the charged ion form. When it comes to polarity, this version is going to be more polar, this version is going to be less polar and more able to get through skin's barrier because oils and charged ions don't really mix that well. So when you have a lower pH solution of glycolic acid, more of it exists in that form, so more of it is able to penetrate skin. You're going to get more activity of that glycolic acid in a product with a low pH. In a product with a higher pH, it'll actually kind of have like a time release effect. I can talk more about that in a different video. Now, in the case of salicylic acid, I mentioned at the beginning that salicylic acid is already fairly oil-soluble to begin with. So even when it's existing in the charged state, it's still going to have a pretty decent ability to get through skin's barrier. So the study right here was looking at the keratolytic effect of salicylic acid in solutions of different pHs, and they found that the pH actually had a very minimal influence on the efficacy of the salicylic acid. So unlike other acids like lactic and glycolic that are smaller and more water soluble, salicylic acid can still lose a hydrogen at a higher, like which is going to happen in a higher pH system, um, and still be very effective at penetrating through the stratum corneum and exerting its effects on skin. In fact, the only noticeable difference they found between the different pHs was that the more acidic preparations resulted in more skin irritation. So with typical acid products, you would expect Paula's Choice to be more effective because of the lower pH. However, since it's salicylic, they should have equivalent benefits, and this one might be less irritating.